Hi, my name is Didi Tirono Omondi. Karibuni sana to my channel. Now, I want to wish you a happy 2022. Wait, I know somebody's like, huh? How can you tell us happy new year when the month is almost over? I know. But then again, we need to say happy new year until around June. But I'm saying so a little bit late because we haven't met this year. So I don't want to be left out. I don't want you to wonder, how can this person just jump into a video without even wishing us a new year? Stucky, what to catch my feelings, by the way. So, happy 2022. And so, before I tell you why I'm doing this video today, allow me to make a clarification. So, parenting tells will be coming to you in two ways. One, on set. I'll be doing that when I have a guest with me that is on set. And you know, you know, the bench where we met the previous year. And we, we are going, we're still going to do that this year because much more is lined up for you guys. So do not panic. Don't say, this lady started this thing and then she disappeared. And now the second segment is, the, is what I call home segment. It's parenting tales one-on-one. -on -one. Why am I saying this? Parenting tales one-on-one -on -one will be a session that gets to interact with you more uh, by way of, you know, answering the questions, the recommendations, the comments that you send in. Like in this video, I'm going to answer some of the questions that you requested, you know, yourself. And before we proceed, uh, allow me to wish you, um, I mean, to say congratulations on your new bundle of joy and welcome to motherhood. It's the most um, humbling experience and it doesn't come with a manual. So most of the things you get to learn alone, but hey, you need to be happy. Don't worry because Parenting Tales is here to be helping you to sort out those small, small questions that you have so that it can help you in this parenting journey. So sit, relax, because I'm about to tell you to answer the question that you asked me. So guys, we are going to talk today about uh, how to increase milk production for breastfeeding moms. And to start us is something that is not new. I'm very sure that everybody knows about this. And it's an item that cannot lack in your kitchen. This one. Cocoa. It's amazing, guys. I've tried it. Um, you, you can use it. <clears throat> I'm very sure most of you, maybe you use it in hot milk or hot water with a little bit of sugar for those who take and for people who prefer honey like myself, one spoon full of honey can be enough for that particular, you know, the concoction that comes with Cadbury, the cocoa. It's very nice. It's amazing. I've tried it and I haven't been disappointed so far. The second one is the drinking chocolate, the two in one. It has sugar in it, guys, and maybe a little bit of milk. So you can also use it. It can go well with hot water or hot milk, depending on what you prefer. You can use this. It also works magic. I cannot complain. The third one on my list is Milo. It's also perfect when you use with hot water or hot milk. So if you're not a milky person, you can use it in hot water. So that you can increase your milk production. And hey, somebody tell the people who what? Somebody tell the, the, the people who manufacture this that I'm promoting them and they should actually give me a hamper. Anyway, I'm just kidding. So the th the fourth one, yeah. I've I've dealt with three of them. So this fourth one is what we call fenugreek seeds. But personally, this is not seeds. I'm sure you can see it's flour. It's powder form. I went into the supermarket to get the seeds and the lady attendant at the supermarket recommended this. She told me that uh, this is much better because for the seeds, you waste a lot of time because you got to, you know, you boil it for a very long time so that you can get the concoction to drink but then she recommended this because she told me with one you know one teaspoonful 
uh, is enough for you you can use it in hot milk like what i'm having now as i do this video i don't know if you can be able to see the color that it comes with it's a little bit of you know yellow and green but i will not lie to you the taste is not so friendly but we don't really mind about the you know the taste i mean we are looking at the final reason or the sole reason for us taking this interesting concoction is to help us have or to rather help us increase our milk production for the sake of the little ones that depend on us so fenugreek is not so bad it's very nice also i've been doing this i've, I've tried it for the last couple of months and i cannot regret so trust me it's worth it and it's not even expensive these it was full and now i'm halfway it costed around 356 and i got this from a naiva supermarket so walk into any supermarket close by and i'm very sure you're going to get this or even food plus if you don't find it in your nearest supermarket you can check on uh, food plus on any other store that deals with healthy food and also there are some things that uh, one very nice doctor recommended to me but i do not have them here so i'll put them on the description box right below the title of this video so please go and check it out and if there is any other thing guys that i've left out please feel free to send in through the comments or if you don't want to comment you can even send me via text in one of the social media platforms across that i will also leave them right on the description box so when it comes to vegetables mm, too bad i don't have the samples with me here but i'm just going to tell you i'm sure you know this the kills you know the kawaida super i mean sukuma wiki um spinach i'm also told that uh, it really works wonders and that's what i've been using i've tried what i'm talking about here is what i've tried at least and i've seen that it actually works so the kales the spinach saga um and managu and oh there is a vegetable that you need to stay out of it when you're breastfeeding and this is kunde i don't know i'm told that uh, it reduces the milk production so please if you can avoid that as much please try and do so what else have i forgotten i don't think there is any other thing that i've forgotten or if there is any again please feel free to interact with us to remind us so that we can help more mothers out there so i think i'm about to end this video but wait is there any other thing that i've forgotten i don't think there is any other thing so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have learned something because our main reason or rather uh, yeah our main reason are the parenting tales uh, is to inform educate and inspire you through the stories that we have here i mean based on our own experiences or what we know maybe from you can also share your experience your own experience uh, so this interactive session, I intend to be doing these kind of videos at least twice or thrice in a week when time allows so that I don't disappear. So that at least I keep giving you content to help you or to help somebody out there who might be struggling with some parenting, you know, roles. Because it's not easy. It's a journey that... Uh, we embraced and we trust in god that uh, he's going to work us until we see our little ones uh grown up and you know they are able to depend on themselves so i sign off by saying again feel free to share this video with your friends but and also if you still if you're yet to subscribe to this parenting tales journey please feel free to subscribe because it's free guys 
and the kind of information that we're giving you you might not find it any other place but good thing though is that uh, the most of the experiences that we share here is what we've gone through and it's going to help you so allow me to sign off now as i say may god bless all of you and all those who are waiting and trusting god to have their babies may your request come through this year thank you so much my name is judy chirono omondi and this is the parenting tales one on one thank you and see you in the next video